Hello, welcome back. So this is part three of the uh, camp build. It's a wet day. It's a wet and miserable day. So yeah, it's good to be here. I'm quite pleased that it's all still standing. I'm going to build another wall that side today. Also going to think about working on the bed and maybe working out where my fire's going to go, things like that. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we're going to play it by ear as usual. But uh, I'm going to start with the wall because that definitely needs doing. So that's job number one. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, uh, please subscribe. It all helps. It all helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, I'm not going away. I'll be here. I'll be here for a good while yet. So lots more, lots more videos to come this year. So uh, hit the button. Hit the button. Right, I'm going to get on. I need to find material for a wall. I'm going to get my tools out. I left a little hook here. You'd think I did it on purpose. Who knows? But it's a nice spot for a coat. Okay. Wobbly at the top. It's a dead one. It's way too big for what I need, but I'm probably going to get two or three supports out of it for the wall. I didn't want to just get one off the ground because they might not be strong enough. So I'm going to get one of them for a support and then the main bit of the wall is all going to be dead off the ground, wet. <laughs> So this one I've just put a point on the end. I've sawed it off at an angle, because so I'm going to put it on this part. So I'll put a second one in here, so I can lash the two together the wall can fit in there. And I'll put another one back here at the end. So I found this piece which has a, a ready-made pointy bit. i put this one back here because it's not as long and I want this one to be up this sort of height. So the one that's here needs to stick up a bit higher so that I get walled off right to the top. So let's put this one here. And that'll do. And that's it. Let's have a go at filling it. Before I get too into stacking this up, I'm just going to lash these together. Just do that one's okay, it's holding itself. 
that in, but this one gets through. Remember the knot from the first video? Jam knot, it's called. We tie a knot there at the end of the cord. We tie a second one and leave it open. Very simple. Put the running end through the hole. Gently cinch it down, and that is your noose. Noose, and just lock it off. Why well, I needed all this extra cord? Well, never mind. There we go. We're all locked in. Going to fill this gap now. Right, lunch. I am soaked. I am soaked through. Not the best day to come out, but I was so excited to finish. Oh god. You can shut up and all. I'm gonna have to take this off. Put my coat on and light a fire. Just try and keep myself warm while I sit still. Oh god. Yeah, I'm very wet. Yeah, I only got a little twig stove, so I could just put it in front of me. But it seems wrong doing anything in it till I've finished it completely. So maybe I'll uh tarp up, sit underneath it and try and dry off. <sighs> Let's do that. Daydreaming. Ah, something went up my nose. Daydreaming. Yeah. I think I just snorted a bug. Save that. I'll have it for my supper. Come on in, let's do some.
Ja. So lunch today, nice and simple. I've got some rolls, I'm boiling some eggs, and I've got some salami. So I'm gonna have hard boiled eggs and salami rolls. Which is a good job, it's nothing too complicated because it's wet and horrible. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna be relying on having to keep a fire going. I've only What's in there, the fuel that's in there, that's all I've cut. I'm not done anymore, so just need that water to boil and, uh, and I'll be happy. So I can make a hot drink out of what's in there, get some hot food in me and the eggs, and uh, it should warm me up a touch. But yeah. Shelter's coming on a treat though, I'm really pleased. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I don't remember doing that, but it's a little bit sore. Must have just caught it on something. There we go. Hard boiled eggs. Need about 15 minutes. So we'll give it five. It's been boiling for five minutes, so five more minutes. And then we start putting it all together. Pardon me. These sit mats come in very handy because you can get your fire going with them as well as sit on them. Enough to bring it to the boil. Whew, lovely jubbly. Walking in today, I was, because uh, it had been raining, I was a little concerned that I'd get here and it would just be a flat heap on the ground, but it stood up to it. I think it's going to rain the next few days, so I'll probably, I'm quite glad I'm not sleeping in it. I'll probably camp in it in a week or so uh, with Tink. But uh, not until it's done. But the fact that it's stood up to some nasty weather gives me a bit more confidence. And, uh, you know, if we get some more horrible weather over the next week or so, um, and it's still standing, then I'm, I'm going to feel really pleased with it. It's dry inside, it's dry underneath, so it's, it's kept the rain out. My concern was all the debris on the back, you know, soaking up all the water and getting really heavy. So I've put quite a few supports underneath, the sort of the load bearing uh, pieces. So with any luck, the weight is now sort of spread over multiple uh, sites, not just hanging off a bit of paracord. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting more confident with it every day.
This rubbish bag, I'm going to peel my eggs straight into it. Keep my water hot. Some clean egg is on that one. This is Milano salami slices. Milano must mean comes from Milan, I would guess. Eat and relax for a few minutes. It's a lovely lunch. I think I needed something hot. Getting a bit chilled. I left my damp shirt on and zipped myself up in the down jacket, hoping that my body heat will dry out my shirt a little bit. And my gloves over the stove, but the stove's gone out now, so. They're still wet. But, so those hard boiled eggs were nice. Warm me up. We've got a hot cup of tea. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Question is, what do I do now? I think it's time to do something about the bed.
because I've stuffed myself with chocolate. It's a bleak day. It's not raining hard enough to have the waterproofs on. I had the waterproof jacket on for a while but I got so hot in it I ended up sweating inside it. So I took it off to cool down and you know the, the drizzle ended up getting me wet anyway. But it is what it is. There are worse places I could be. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my tea and then go and have a look and see what the next step is. So might start gathering bits of wood for the bed and look I need to level it up a bit and stuff. I saw a huge, huge it's about this wide and about three feet long piece of wood not too far in that direction that I think could kind of make the back of a fireplace. I know it's wood but it's massive and it, even if it started to burn you know, I, I think it would just go out. I don't think it would be a danger. So I might roll that over at some point. So I was going to put in a fire reflector, and I still might. But to start with, that might that might do. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I better get up. So to, to my eye, I think this corner is a bit low, so I think everything's going to roll this way. So I've just got these sort of thin bits. I'm just going to try and wedge them under there a little. Just under two saw lengths is what I'm looking for. Let's go and see what we can find. Are you coming? I think I've got a neighbour down here. It's the last time I was here. I saw it, so I covered it with a few leaves, just loosely, but it's all been cleared away. So somebody lives in there, I don't know what that would be, I mean, a rat potentially, a mouse, it's a bit big for a mouse isn't it? So if anyone knows what would live in there, that's my hand next to it. So. About, the hole's about the size of the palm of my hand. A little bit smaller. Yeah. What would live in there, in, in the middle of some woods? <coughs> There's a whole grove here of these. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but they've been coppiced so that the base has been taken out to make the other stuff grow. I wonder if I take sort of one from from each tree, you know, the tree won't miss it. You know, and they're nice and straight and they're the right sort of width. Um, 
down up and get several struts because they're, you know, 20 foot up in the air. So I might take one and see what it looks like on the bed and then decide whether I'm going to come back and take one from a different one and another one from a different one so that I'm not taking them all from one tree. Okay. I'm just running the axe along gently, just taking off. See the little bits here. It's just little spiky bits and things that, you know, might give me an uncomfortable night or it might give my air mattress a puncture. So I'm just running the axe head along, trying to just smooth them out. That's pretty comfy. Oh. Almost halfway. That is all right. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to laying down. So walking around, I found this fallen tree. So I've been taking some of these bits for the bed so I don't have to cut down too many living trees. So rather than dragging the whole thing back, I've been just measuring, you know, how many, let's start there, how many saw lengths. It's two saw lengths to a a portion. There's one. There's two. One.
like a glove. Oh, luxury. And I'm spent. Oh, that is good. No need to tie it. I did explain what I was doing with the bed in video one of this, but if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it because I built the frame. But once I built the frame, I lashed two big pieces on the, each end so they're tied, and then all these other pieces are slightly smaller, and there it's just wedged in. I was thinking I'd have to wrap all the way along, but it's pretty sturdy, so I don't think I do. Oh my word. Good day. Good day, mate. So I'm going to test it out. Oh, it's like a, it's almost a double. Oh. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed with myself. Right. I think it's time to pack up. I'm done. I'm going to go home and have a bath. I'm soaked through. So yeah. I think we're almost complete. I need to do a some kind of fireplace. I need to clear out in the back there because I, I think I'll probably end up wanting to get in the back there. So one place to put a blanket down where it's not going to get wet so I might do a little bit where it's raised up so that she can right, and I'll put a blanket on it and then she can get on it but there's enough room on here that she might just come and sleep up here with me which would be cool because she can keep me warm but yeah I'm dead chuffed with this thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh as I say, subscribe to give the channel a bit of support, and uh, I will see you next time, bright and breezy. Have a good day. Thanks very much. Always have a lie down again. Oh. just walking out and uh, it occurs to me just to suggest you know if you haven't spent time out in the woods early morning early evening just on your own I would I would do so because just listen how many types of birds are singing it's really cool anyway just a suggestion get yourselves out there even just to go out sit you know take a flask of coffee and a, and a chair you know what I mean you don't have to build anything you don't have to have a fire just get yourself away from other people and uh, 
just just spend a bit of time just sitting still be amazed at the sounds you hear anyway enough of my yakking thanks again for watching see you later